Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to install one of Super ATV's complete diffs on this Polaris Razor XP900. So let's jump right in. The first thing that we're going to do is remove both front wheels and tires. Next, we're going to disconnect the caliper from the rotor. Then we're gonna remove our cotter pin from our castle nut. Then we're gonna remove the castle nut. Then the hub. Then we're gonna disconnect the tie rod. We'll just slide our tie rod up out of the way. Then we're gonna go through and remove the nut from our shock, as well as the nut for our upper ball joint bolt. Then we're gonna grab a ratchet strap, put it around the cage, grab a hold of the lower A-arm, pick up on it, the shock will come loose. And then pop your upper ball joint bolt loose as well, and everything should separate. And we're just gonna grab a hold of this A-arm, Pull it up here as high as we can get it. Take our strap, hook it through the A-arm bolt hole. And just go ahead and tighten your strap up. That'll just keep everything out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and remove our axle, let our lower A-arm drop down. Then we're gonna repeat all these steps for the opposite side. Now we're gonna grab a long hunch. We're gonna knock the roll pin out of the prop shaft that secures it to the pinion shaft on the differential. Next thing we're gonna do is disconnect the harness from the differential to the machine. Push up on the tab. And we're just gonna sit it down out of the way. So the next step's gonna be to remove all the bolts from the differential if you don't have a bumper equipped. We're running our Super ATV bumper so we're gonna have to remove the bumper and then we can remove the four bolts securing the differential to the frame of the machine and remove the diff. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bumper removed, remove the grill, then we're gonna remove the two bolts securing it to the machine. Then we're gonna remove the two bolts underneath securing it to the frame of the machine. And then be careful because once you remove this last bolt, this bumper is gonna come loose. Once all the hardware is removed, go ahead and remove the bumper. Then we're gonna remove the four bolts, securing the differential to the frame. Once all the hardware is removed from the differential, we're gonna go ahead and remove the differential, and slide it off the prop shaft. And one last thing to not forget about is to remove your vent tube. It'll just slide right out. Now that we have our factory differential removed, it's time to get some oil into our new Super ATV differential and get it installed. Next, we're gonna be installing our drain plug into our differential. You're gonna know it's a drain plug because it's gonna have a magnet. I'm just gonna roll it over, insert the plug into the bottom of the diff. I'm gonna take an Allen wrench, go ahead and fully tighten it. Just get it tight and then put about a quarter turn on it and that'll be good. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill our differential full of fluid. We're gonna be using the Polaris on-demand dry fluid. You can get this from any Polaris dealership. We highly recommend using this fluid. We're just gonna take a funnel, stick it in the fill hole, fill it up until it runs out. And you'll have a little bit of leak here and there, but you want it to be a constant stream of fluid pouring out. Now that we know our differential's full, we're gonna go ahead and install our fill plug. Same thing applies on the fill plug. We'll want to get it tight and then put about a quarter turn on it. Then we're going to go ahead and just wipe our diff off, get any of the residual oil. Now we're going to head over and get this thing installed on the machine. 
So we're gonna put it in the same way that we took it out. We're just gonna rotate it on its side, slide it right in. Just make sure you don't pinch your harness. Just keep that out of the way. Slide it right into place. And then we'll line up the hole on the pinion shaft with the hole on the prop shaft. Now we're gonna grab the four bolts that were included with the differential. Apply a good amount of Loctite to each of these bolts. And then one at a time, we're gonna go ahead and get these installed. Have to rotate the diff around until it lines up. Make sure you get them started good and straight. Once you have all four of the bolts started, go ahead and fully tighten them. Now we're gonna install our roll pin. I highly recommend if you've ever taken your roll pin out before you've installed Super ATV's diff, this is gonna be the first time this roll pin's been out, so we're gonna go ahead and reuse it. But if you've taken it out more than once, you need to definitely replace it. So we're just gonna make sure that our prop shaft is lined up with our pinion shaft. Get our punch, take our hammer, and just tap it right through. And you're just gonna to wanna to tap it all the way to where it's flush on either side. So now we're gonna reinstall our vent tube to the differential. You just wanna route it the same way that it was routed on the factory one. And whenever you snap it in, just make sure that it fully snaps. Make sure your wiring's out of the way. Make sure it's not pinched anywhere. Then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our front bumper and then reinstall all the components that we previously removed. Go through, make sure all your hardware is fully tightened. Reinstall any other components you may have off the machine at this time. And that's how super easy it is to install Super ATV's complete diff on this Polaris Razor XP900. For more information on this differential or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.